So the Me Too movement toppled some powerful men. And today we are asking whether the accused deserve a second chance. Now, this has come up because um, Mark Halperin, uh, who was an MSNBC political analyst and had spent years at ABC News, he has reportedly been meeting with top TV figures, former and current network stars, cable news regulars, a PBS executive, a CNN pundit, even Kellyanne Conway and Charlie Rose, uh, and leading to some to speculate he's looking for a comeback. This is Charlie Rose, who's invited to this elite gathering of billionaires out in Idaho and is reportedly getting together or thinking about a TV show that would include those accused by the Me Too movement, by women in it, uh, to try to tell their stories and launch a comeback. Uh, and there's a question about whether that's okay. Are we ready for that? Thoughts on that? Look, you, you can do a TV show. Um, who will watch it? That's really the question, right? So. That would be the ultimate I will test. watch it every night, <laughs> and then we will respond right here. So, so there's that. And I also think for, for people that are potentially being hired by other companies, it's some soul-searching by that company. Does, is this something that we want? You have a range of things that these men are accused of, and each person needs to be treated individually, as an individual case. Do we, for instance, accept an apology that was issued? Do we feel that this person um, understands and, and is ready to, to move on in a different way? I, I don't know. Do the people that work for us feel that way? These are the questions, and they're difficult. That and there's a answered. sliding scale, too. I mean, I don't think Harvey Weinstein is ever, if he, if he doesn't, if he managed to stay out of jail, I don't think he's ever going to get hired by a company or be allowed back into polite society. I really don't. Oh, no. I also think there's a difference, though, between talking about someone, you know, g going into business or, or having a TV show or being hired by, you know, an entertainment company versus someone being brought into the White House and paid with taxpayer dollars um, without... Do you mean President Trump? Well, yeah. I could be talking about <laughs> President Trump. <laughs> At least with President Trump, for better or worse, you can have your opinion. You know, people got to vote on that knowing what they knew about him. If he brings in someone who has this kind of baggage without people having a say, but he's in that, you know, sort of public service position, I think that's different than We're talking a TV now about um, former Fox News co president Bill Shine, who it looks like he's going to be either communications director at the White House or some sort of equivalent role. He was essentially pushed out of Fox News in the wake of the Roger Ailes sexual harassment scandal. But Bill Shine was never accused of sexually harassing anybody. At most, he faced a couple of lawsuits suggesting he may have looked the other way when allegedly knowing about Roger Ailes' harassment or Bill O'Reilly's harassment. But in, in Shine's defense, and I have spoken publicly about having gone to him about O'Reilly's bad behavior at Fox, um, there's no proof, there's no proof that he knew about the litany of complaints against these two guys. Whereas Charlie Rose stands accused by, I don't right. know how many women now. I mean, it's dozens. He denies the allegations. And Halpern, too, his allegations are very graphic, very graphic and very disturbing about what he did to those young women. And, and I think there's a question. Uh, who would watch? I mean, you, you'd be a curiosity factor. Who would sponsor it? What company right. is going to put their name on the Charlie Wants Rose comeback on, on one of these comebacks? And then answer to the critics and answer to the protests, presumably. Answer maybe we see boycott movements these days. So I, I don't know who would sponsor it. What network would air it? What network would want to, you know, maybe if there's some kind of, you know, one-time special where there are, you know, there are accusers who want to face them and want to have some moment of public justice. I, I, I could, right, it doesn't sound that way. So beyond that, a regular show, I can't see a sponsor. I can't see a network. I think, I, I feel like I've spoken with some of the Charlie Rose and Halpern accusers, and they're, I don't, I can't speak for all of them, but I know some of them has said how diminished they would feel that just after a couple of months that's it. These guys are allowed back on television in these prominent, powerful positions after costing some of these women their careers because they wouldn't allow the guy to rub up against them, allegedly, while they're seeking a business meeting, right? I just, I think we have to really pause and think about where our morality is and what our values are before we, before we go down that road just a few months after. But I also feel uncomfortable with the notion that all of these men can't make it Right, that they all are, they're just completely lost, and uh, com and we just discard them as a society. Yeah. That that makes me uncomfortable as well. I don't think they can make it right, but I think there's room for forgiveness. I, th that's what I mean. Yeah. Is is there some room to, for, as part of the conversation, which goes to, to your point them. about have they accepted responsibility? What's the apology looked like? It, you know, absolutely on the scale and. I mean, and some are just sitting there, denied, denied, yeah, denied, exactly. with no apology. And some ha actually have come out and said, like our I was a jerk. Please, please, you know, like Louis C.K. has has done a 
an apology. Anyway, we'll leave it to the viewers to decide. But if they do do the Charlie Rose comeback show, I guarantee you we will be responding every morning on this program. We'll be right back. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.